All right, what's going on, everybody? I am going to build a RWC system. <laughs> all right, I just wanted to uh, uh, document the process, especially for all the the Canadians around, and I'll put out a parts list where I got everything uh, or what I bought. Most of it uh, off of Amazon. Um, and uh, you lean to get the uh, the gallon buckets here, the square ones. Uh, they're uh, four gallon square buckets. All right, oh, look at that right there. Okay, so we got the gallon. So we got five buckets, right? Four for the actual plants and one as the reservoir per se. Um, I have four four inch uh, air stones uh, one for each of the plant uh, buckets uh, I don't want to put one in the reservoir uh, you don't really want unnecessarily unnecessary air going in through the pump um, and I think these four will definitely be um, just fine also off of Amazon uh, everything that I am going to share I will uh, put in the link uh, uh, put in the description uh, with the links um, remember when you order the four gallon pots to also order the lids so I got five pots five lids they come as a minimum uh, five set uh, I picked up this uh, is a 590 gallon an hour per hour uh, aquarium pump uh, off of Amazon based on all the pumps that they have this is an eco plus uh, at least it's decent quality there's a bunch of pumps online that you can get through Amazon uh, they're just not uh, I don't know they're not the greatest uh, uh, they definitely don't do what they say but I know eco plus is a good pump uh, 590 gallons per hour is definitely uh, more than I will need especially for only five buckets um, it should uh, definitely disturb the water uh, and uh, hey the more disturbance the better so uh, we'll see what happens uh, hopefully it will uh, it will work well uh, and hopefully it won't be too loud anyhow uh, comes with all the fittings and uh, it's a decent size all right oh, if I can pull it out of this bag here anyhow all right so as well I'll leave the link in the description I also ordered off Amazon is Vivo Sun air pump uh, which is 950 gallons per hour uh, I forget the oh, how many liters per minute that was but uh, definitely more than sufficient uh, what I liked about this pump as well was that I believe it comes with a decent quality air outlet which it does and its fittings so um, show you here nice little I don't know if that's actually brass but uh, decent quality uh, fitting and it's got six ports that are um, with knobs to shut off so really I only need four but uh, very good uh, apparently it's not that loud either according to reviews so uh, great uh, I got a whole bunch of uh, air tubing left over I got a bunch uh, sitting in uh, stock as well so I'm not sure how much I'm going to need but you'll need that as well I also have um, of course the uh, black tubing uh, which is supposed to come in today uh, which I will use to um, connect all these outlets these are just some extras that I had so I ordered this 10 pack here they're one inch uh, um, they're known as bulkheads or aka uh, tub outlets and really uh, if you buy them pretty much uh, from the shops here or like locally they end up being relatively expensive uh, found these on Amazon a 10 pack I believe it was under 30 bucks uh, 28.99 or something like that and uh, this is what we'll be drilling a hole for uh, into the bucket so you'll need two of these per bucket right one uh, for the water coming in and one for the water going out uh, now I also plan to I might um, use two pumps in the 
in the reservoir and be like I have a drip feed from uh, the setup I usually use and I'm thinking that um, I just remove the drip uh, piece but uh, uh, create the waterfall effect as well and run um, a constant feed from above as well uh, the top of the bucket but I can decide that after the fact because that really will just be an add-on and uh, I already have it and I'm not sure if it's really gonna be needed but hey uh, I'll give it a shot I know in the early stages of when you're doing RW R, RDWC or which recirculating deep water culture you want to be able to top feed uh, to develop a good root system so that it actually fills the buckets and then you really don't need the top feed but I think uh, I'll probably uh, make use of it as I have it that's what I normally have in here usually you guys can usually see when this grow room is um, is full I just finished the last crop and sanitized and wiped all this down made it all nice clean and white again and uh, I'm ready to start over but to tell you the truth I'm kind of tired of uh, soil and getting rid of soil it's just uh, I find that uh, I think maybe we can uh, definitely avoid it. Anyhow, um, so uh, there's these. Uh, so the only thing I'm missing here are, is the tubing, which uh, I will have today. Uh, just um, I'll also be putting out an, an, uh, an updated video on my uh, on the last crop. I haven't cl which I, I haven't posted the video yet. I haven't put it together. I got a couple pieces, but. Um, Anyhow, uh, just want to let everybody know what's uh, what's happening in here, and uh, yeah, um, oh yes, one of the other things you'll want uh, makes life a little bit easier is one of these. Uh, now I forget the actual name for this thing, but uh, what this will do will make life a lot easier when you're drilling the holes in uh, the pots for the bulkheads. Um, these bulkheads here and so this here is it's tapered and it will uh, you know let you know what hole size you've uh, made anyhow uh, that's good uh, I'll also be oh also forgot uh, for the net pots so I've got uh, five inch or four inch net pots coming I forgot what I ordered uh, for uh, the bucket lids and so I'll uh, also drill a hole up here. I think it's a four inch. I also have a four inch uh, drill bit there to make uh, the hole in here. And um, you can use, uh, you know, hydro tin or uh, which is the expanded clay balls or grow stones. Uh, and all the research I've been doing so far, I've, it seems that like, like grow stones are uh, seem to be better. I'm sure somebody can tell me. Uh, in the comments if they prefer uh, grow stones over uh, hydrogen but uh, I, I don't plan to reuse either uh, it's kind of not worth it to me I'd rather just throw it out and not have to deal with the mess after the fact but anyhow um, and uh, yeah so uh, I will update shortly as uh, when I start this build I'll, I'll, I'll be sure to include uh, all the steps and everything that I do um yeah and then uh, hopefully this grow room here i plan to have four here i'll keep the reservoir on the side here um i'm gonna try and maintain a three by three area in here uh this is pretty much four. this little platform right here is about uh is a little bit over four by uh three and change i have a, a pre-built trellis that i used to use in a three by three tent which i'm gonna put here as well uh it's on a frame so i can just uh fill this area and uh see how that goes anyhow um i'll update shortly let me know if you guys have any questions or something else that you want me to include in this video and we'll uh we'll take it from there